The Indian currency, the rupee, has been making headlines every day for the last few weeks. On Monday, the rupee hit a fresh low of 79.36 to a dollar on concerns of a wider current account deficit after the trade deficit for June came in at record high. Trade deficit occurs when a country's imports are higher than its exports. Today, we're going to discuss how exactly the value of a rupee is determined and what is the exchange rate. Since independence, the rupee has depreciated almost 20 times. In 1948, $1 was available at 4 rupees and then there was no debt in the country. When the first five-year plan was implemented in 1951, the government started taking loans from abroad and then the value of rupee also started depreciating. The US dollar enjoys the status of a global currency which is why the value of a rupee is pegged against the dollar and it shows whether the Indian currency is strong or weak. Since 1993, the Indian rupee has officially been following a market-determined exchange rate where price is determined by demand for and supply of foreign exchange with intervention by the Reserve Bank of India from time to time. This was the period when the Indian economy was opened to foreign investment, popularly known as the era of liberalization. Now, as with other commodities, simply put, the market forces of demand and supply are the major determinants of the value of rupee against the dollar. When the demand for dollars increases, the value of rupee depreciates, which consequently lowers the purchasing power of the rupee. So let's say for an, for an oil importer, when the value of rupee depreciates, he would be shelling out more rupees for the same amount of dollar, thereby denting the value of the rupee. But what are the factors that determine the value of the domestic currency? First and foremost is the outlook on trade between India and other countries. In the last three years, because of the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia's invasion of Ukraine, there has been an increase in the global commodity prices. This has weighed heavily on India's import bill and thus affects the current account deficit where the import of goods and services is higher than its exports. As more imports require payment to be made in dollars, demand for dollars has strengthened. Because of the direct impact, imbalances in trade costs on the economy, the government levies multitude of taxes and curbs for imports and on the other hand encourages exports. The second is how the global economy is performing and its outlook. In the current scenario where the economists now expect the US economy to be in recession, investors find it easy to park their money in safe assets like the US treasuries, other safe currencies and gold. This would lead to capital flowing out of the country and the requirement for more dollar increases. The third is domestic macroeconomic fundamentals, especially on growth. Because India is an emerging market and foreigners invest in countries like India for their growth prospects, the bulk of foreign investment is in stocks or equity markets which is linked to growth prospects of India. Lastly, a country's interest rate regime is a big factor in deciding the value of the domestic currency as that decides the capital flows as the interest rates in US rise foreign investors may find better returns by investing in American capital markets rather than India. According to experts, close to $30 billion have flown out of the country in 2022 so far. That's all from me. This is Shubham Batra for The Print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook.